what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be going over my honest review of the dji osmo pocket i just got this camera around two weeks ago and i'm basically going to start out this video talking to you guys about the stats which are actually pretty impressive so let's get into those so guys this thing shoots in 4k it does 64 megapixel photos that looks super good and then also the 4K honestly looks a lot better than some of the other 4K cameras that I've used, such as like the GoPro and my phone. And it has a Sony CMOS sensor on it, which is powering all that footage. It also comes equipped with a three axis gimbal that keeps that footage buttery smooth. Other than that, you also have a touch screen too, which is super nice. It's actually usable on like the GoPro ones. This thing is definitely really reliable. I've never had any like misclicks or anything like that when I'm moving the touch screen around. You have a lot of shooting options on your touch screen, including slow-mo, photos, videos, and then you also have the settings and things like that to change how you want this thing to look. It's actually super adjustable in the settings. You have everything you'll need to get this footage how exactly you want it. You also have a little connector for your phone on here. And what that does is, is that makes it so that you can use this thing with your phone. You can connect it while you're recording on the Osmo. You can also use your phone, which is honestly really sick. It makes it feel like a higher end camera because you can really easily see what you're doing. Now that I've talked to you guys about all the stats and all the great features that this thing has, let me get into some pros and cons because this thing has some bad things about it, unfortunately. So the first pro, to be honest, it's just the gimbal, you know, it's just a standard three axis gimbal. It works super well. All you gotta do is just press the button over here and that will turn that bad boy on. It will flip around to center itself up and it works super well. Nothing really to complain about it, but it definitely is one of the best things and the coolest things on this camera. And that will also lead us to our first con. This gimbal wanders, to be honest. You can like, if you're moving it really fast around, this thing can sometimes wander and it's hard to keep somebody in frame. So like, if you just give this camera to somebody that's never used it before, they're gonna struggle a lot to keep you in frame because the thing kind of wanders around and it's a lot slower than what you're actually moving the camera at. So you gotta make sure to get used to that, but once you do, you can get some really sick shots with this thing. Another pro that I stated earlier is the usable touch screen. This thing is awesome. It works perfectly well. And the only thing I would say that is not the best with it is that you kind of really can't see exactly what you record. You kind of have to connect it up to your phone to see what you actually recorded because it looks a little bad on the touch screen. But other than that, the touch screen really, it works well. Everything seems pretty good on it. And so I'll put that as a pro. The last con is when you're connecting it up to your phone, you some people would have to take their case off, which I have to do, because there's not enough room for this thing to connect in. And it's kind of annoying having to take your case off, and it also sometimes doesn't even want to connect, which is kind of annoying, but you know, for this cheap of a camera and for how good the quality of it is, it's honestly not, not that big of a deal to me. So if you're just getting into making cinematic videos, this thing is definitely a great option. I think right now it's like 250 or $300, I think, on Amazon for this thing. It also comes with a case in that deal. And honestly, I think it's great. It is so much better than a GoPro for like outside angles. And it's definitely gonna be a big part of my YouTube channel. And it's a good thing to have inside the camera squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to buy this camera, just check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description. that will take you right to this thing. It's on a really good deal right now, so you might want to just go ahead and check that thing out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace out.